Hello everybody and thanks for stopping by. You're watching me draw on this piece of paper with a pen again. And I was just thinking that, you know, maybe when you're drawing, does it feel like you're putting the pen on the paper? Or does it feel like you're putting the paper on the pen? What if, instead of drawing on paper with a pen... You used a piece of paper and you did the drawing on the paper from the pen with a pen taped to a table. Is that even possible? Or may maybe it is and no one's even done it yet. Maybe I should explore that route of creativity and give that a try sometime. But as you can see here, I'm sitting at my desk in my art room. And I like to call it an art studio because I, if, if you were to be in this room, you would see lots of drawings hanging everywhere in this apartment and you would see lots of art supplies. So hopefully if you were here and uh, you seen the room, you would, you would see and you would find motivation from all these drawings hanging on the wall. And it help, helps me get inspiration to draw more. Like when I was younger, and e even to this day where I'm just, I'm, I'm just daydreaming and thinking about things while I'm drawing. And I think to myself, I want to be the best artist in the world. Just like when you're a kid, you want to be an astronaut, or you want to be a firefighter, or you want to be the fastest person in the world or the strongest person in the world. I think, I think we all have those moments in our life where we want to be that. And I think that since a lot of the other things in my life haven't worked out, this, this is my thing. This is what I do. And I tell myself that I'm going to be the, the best artist in the world. Um, whatever that means, um, I'm not a hundred percent sure on it, but I think what I'm really just telling myself is that I'm going to be the best I can be at drawing. And maybe all of you can be the best you can be at drawing. And um, if, if you have some drawings you've done, take them and hang them on your wall. Just cover your entire wall and your room with it. And so then when you're setting there drawing, you can, you can look up at these other little doodles that you've done and think about the things that you can draw. Find inspiration from that. And rather than just having all of your drawings packed away into a little cupboard in the very dark corners and covered in cobwebs of your room that is never to be seen again, that is just pushed aside for no one to see. And not even you. You just forget about it until one day, many years later, you find it. And then you see the drawing and you might have two things happen. You ask yourself, why did I quit drawing? Or you might see the drawings and make fun of them about how bad you were at the time. And then you'll realize how much better you are at drawing now. And you'll see the drawings that you were surrounded by. And sometimes you'll take one down and put a better one up. And maybe take a photo of all the drawings in your wall. Save that picture. And then a year later, when you've put different pictures up there, take another photo and look at all the drawings you've done and find inspiration from that so that every day and every drawing and every year, it feels like you're becoming the best artist that you can be at drawing. And you can find inspiration from that and motivation to just keep making doodles despite the fact that you might have no idea what it is or maybe nobody has any idea what you're making. You're just making lines on paper, or maybe the, the paper is using the pen to make lines on it. Whichever way it is, we don't really know anymore. Maybe you're doing push-ups, or maybe you're just pushing the earth away from you. Some things we just might not ever know. But one thing I do know is that hopefully I see you in the next video, and you have fun doodling out there. I'll see you later.